Hi everybody, it's Katie, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another easy cosplay ideas video, but slightly different because I'm not going to do it in like a tutorial style. I'm going to do more of a lookbook and the reason for that is because the topic I'm covering today is Disney bounding. Now if you don't know what a Disney bound is, let me explain. There is a company-wide rule across the Disney theme parks that people over a certain age, I think it's over the age of 12, cannot dress in like the full costume of their favourite character because it can create confusion. Um, for people who are looking to take a picture with like one of the princesses, um, instead of finding someone who's part of the actual Disney cast, um, you know, it, it'll be a random park goer. And Disney just want to discourage that. So what people have come up with is called Disney bounding where you take certain elements, like certain distinguishable elements of a certain character and they put that all together and they compile it all into one easy to tell but very casual cosplay. And that's what this video is going to be like displaying today. I really hope you enjoy it and if you do and if you want to see more please hit subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. You can also follow me on my socials as well because I do quite a bit of this on the likes of Instagram, you know, and Facebook and stuff like that. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Number one, Ariel. These looks I would recommend going to a party or a night out rather than the actual Disney parks. For example, like I have the shell bra, which I got from Amazon, quite cheap. They are hard to get a hold of, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's nice, it's like a little bikini top, it just ties in the back so everything stays in place, which we all like. Um, and also the pants, I managed to pick up from Primark. As you can see, they are a little bit too big for me, but they were the only size I could find. They are quite swishy, a bit like the tail. For the hair and the makeup, I got this wig from Smithy's and it was quite cheap and quite nice. Um, the makeup itself, I tried to keep as quite toned down and quite minimal. Um, I just put a little bit of mascara and a tiny little bit of eyeliner on and then filled in the brows. I tried to make the blush like the most prominent bit of this uh, makeup look because I tried to make it more innocent. You know, she is only 16 years old and I just added a bit of lip gloss. Look two, Belle. For the dress, I kept all the frills of the original ball gown from the film. I've also got rose earrings in as well, just to allude back to the story. Um, it's quite a girly look and it's quite casual, but you probably could still do a con with this, just as a casual cosplay. For the hair, I um, gave myself a middle parton and I halved my crown. I pulled the front pieces forward and then just pinned them right back with a load of back combing. I also made sure I have quite a bit of eyeliner on. I filled in my brows and um, I gave myself a red lip as well and contoured a bit. And I accessorized with my plushie of Beast and I can't tell you how much fun I had messing with this little doll. He's just so cute. Number three, Aurora. I have a gold headband on to emulate her crown and um, I've tried to keep the makeup looking quite natural because she's still supposed to be about 15, 16 years old. The dress I actually thrifted from a charity shop and I gave it a little Peter Pan collar to give it a bit of a 50s American sweetheart look because the film itself came out in the 50s. Um, the look itself is quite fun and cute and casual, one you can wear to a party or a con. It was, I think, my favourite one to film here as well because I had a lot of fun with it. <laughs> So there's just a few ideas for you there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did and you want to see more, please click subscribe. If you want to give the video a thumbs up, please feel free, please like it. And um, if you want to follow me on any of my socials, the handles are all just down below in the description. Sorry about the little outfit change at the end, it's just been filmed over a good few days so I hope you can forgive me for that one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!